Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you the final, the War Within War Talents for a Monk, and that is the Mistweaver Brewmaster Tree, and it's called Master of Harmony. So this is the one where, hopefully, there's some cast of Mistweaver stuff. If not, I'm going to be a little bit sad. It seems like they're kind of leaning more towards Fistweaver from the, four, the first tree with Mistweaver Windwalker. So hopefully we get some cast of Mistweaver stuff here. So before I start, for anyone that doesn't know what hero talents are, this is the new system in the War Within expansion that should be coming out later this year. At the end of leveling, we are going to have all of these nodes unlocked and you will have this by level 80. So every level that you progress in the War Within, you're going to get a point and these are just talents essentially. So with that said, let's jump into this tree. I'm very excited. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. So Aspect of Harmony, I am gonna focus mostly on Brewma uh, <laughs> Brewmaster. I'm mostly gonna focus on Mistweaver because I don't play Brewmaster. So Aspect of Harmony, store vitality from 10% of your damage dealt and 20% of your healing. For 10 seconds after casting Thunder Focus T, your spells and abilities draw upon stored vitality to deal 25% additional healing over eight seconds. So vitality is just, uh, basically you're just storing the healing you do and the damage that you do and you're going to get a buff and it's going to show how much healing you have available and then every time you press thunder focus t your spells draw i guess draw that that bonus healing and then you deal 25 percent additional healing over eight seconds so that's pretty much it there's nothing fancy about it it's it sounds complicated it's not you basically just do your healing and damage rotation that you have and you get the bonus healing every time you use Thunder Focus D. Thunder Focus D has a 30 second cooldown, so you're gonna get this bonus healing every 30 seconds if you're pressing off cooldown. And I'll start on the left-hand side tree, but again, you're gonna have all of these unlocked at the end of leveling in the War Within. So Manifestation, Chi Burst and Chi Wave do 100% increased damage and healing. So that's, that's we're off to a rocky start. This is, this is not uh, insane at all, really. Um, Chi Burst and Chi Wave are both lackluster. I'm pretty sure they could buff it by a thousand percent damage and healing increase, and it still wouldn't be that good. Um, you basically just use Chi Wave for, or Chi Burst to get further down the monk tree. So that's a little disappointing, but maybe the damage will be there. It's good for putting Mystic Touch on people, so it's still decent, I guess. The next one is Tiger's Vigor. So casting Tiger's Lust reduces the remaining cooldown on roll by five seconds. That's actually pretty interesting. Roar from the Heavens. Tiger's Lust grants 20% speed to up to two allies near its target. That's interesting. I don't think I would play Roar from the Heavens. It, the, Roar of the Heavens is actually, I think, gonna be good in PvE. This might be good for raiding and for Mythic Plus. I feel like Tiger's Vigor is actually kind of good for, really good for PvP, just because most of the time you use Tiger's Lust on your teammates, right? That are in roots, but sometimes you need that mobility for yourself. So having a reduced cooldown on roll is kind of nice. It's just extra mobility for you when teams try to swap to you or if you're trying to avoid CC. So um, I think for PvP, you're probably going to go more Tiger's Vigor. But for PvE, Roar from the Heavens kind of sounds good too. And then we have Overwhelming Force. So Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, and Tiger Palm damage enemies in a line through their primary target. So if you hit somebody, it does additional damage to people in front of them, I guess. That's kind of cool. The issue with this for PvP is we don't really... We don't have the chance when we cast or anything. You're not use, using the street of fist weave. You're definitely using the mist weaver size windwalker one to fist weave. This one is mostly for seems like mostly for caster. So this is kind of interesting. There's some damage that you're gonna be able to do um, if teams are stacked on you. Obviously for mythic plus, this is kind of kind of good, right? You get some nice AOE damage going out. Uh, probably not for raids though, because most of the time it's just single target damage. But there's some boss fights that have AOE damage as well. So this one's okay. I don't know if the damage is gonna be insane from it though. Oh, we got we got a big one here. Okay. So we have purified spirit. When aspect of harmony ends, any remaining vitality is released as healing over eight seconds split among nearby targets. So whenever you release, like use your thunder focus T and release or use up your stored vitality, I guess this will if you don't have any left over, you're gonna be able to it's just AoE heal, which is isn't too bad. At least in threes, it's not bad, right? But it's going to be an eight-second hot, so it's not going to be the biggest hot. And then during Aspect of Harmony, Rising Sun Kick, Black Oak Kick, and Tiger Palm also withdraw vitality to damage enemies. That is interesting. I wonder if there's some way to get like some kind of hybrid where you're mostly casting, but you can push in for damage when you have like Thunder Focus T available. Both of these kind of seem, in PvP at least, a little bit 
lacking. I, I You'd probably go Purified Spirit just for the extra healing, just because you want that extra any healing that you can. But the damage from Harmonic, Gam Harmonic Gambit actually seems kind of intriguing. Um, I'm kind of interested to test this one, actually. I feel like the healing from Purified Spirit is, is going to be on the lower end, but still it's healing. Uh, Endless Drought, Celestial Brew. Oh, that's Brewmaster. Thunder Focus T has one additional charge. That's crazy. Okay, so that means Thunder Focus T is going to have like four charges. If you play the the, the uh, T of Serenity with the other talent, you're going to be able to have four to five empowered spells. That's really good. That's really good. So you're going to be able to use your Thunder Focus T and you you could still increase your vitality while Thunder Focus T is up. So you could use your Vivifies that cost no mana, right? And just keep building up that stored vitality. And it costs no mana, which is going to be really nice. So th that's actually going to make the heal from Purified Spirit bigger. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, this These these talents are actually uh, better than I thought they would be. Path of Resurgence, Chi Burst, Increased Vitality Store by 25... Chi Burst, Increased Vitality Store by 25% for 10 seconds. Chi Burst, inc maybe it says Increases Vitality Store. Wait, that's actually kind of good, isn't it? Wave Thousand Strikes. Rising Sun Cape Long Timer contribute fifty percent. I don't think so. I think Path of Resurgence is actually gonna be decent. If you Chi Burst, or maybe it also means like Chi Wave too. If you Chi Burst or Chi Wave and then get the buff for an extra 25% vitality, and then you crank out some healing before your Thunder Focus T, you're gonna have so much vitality stored up. And then this kind of works really well with Purified Spirit too. This is actually uh, this is gonna be a lot of healing. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually gonna be a ton of healing balance stratagem so casting a physical spell or ability increases the damage and healing of your next fire or nature spell or ability of five percent and vice versa stacks up to five percent so does this is crackling jade lightning a nature spell it has to be it, it is crackling jade lightning is a nature spell so that means when you rising sun kick or like blackout kick or tiger palm It'll stack up to five, stack up to five. So you can get a 25% damage increase to your Crackling Jade Lightning, which might not be insane, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> so I, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. At least it's a little damage from Crackling Jade Lightning, but that is good to know. Crackling Jade Lightning is nature. Oh, we got another big one. Okay. So Mantra of Purity. When cast on yourself, your single target healing spells heal for 10% more and grant a heal over five, 15 seconds. Your single, so this is your Vivify, your Enveloping Mist, and probably your Renewing Mist, right? Those are, that's single target. So they t they do 10% more healing to you and give you an extra hot. Fortifying Brew grants 20% stagger. Do they have these mixed up? Or is this real? Fortifying Brew applies a Chi Cocoon for Brewmaster, and then Fortifying Brew grants 20% stagger. I wonder, that's kind of interesting. I mean... I wouldn't mind a 20% stagger when I use my Fort Brew. I kind of like the self-healing, but... Oh, Expel Harm 2. Ooh. This is just a 10% buff to, like, Expel Harm 2, which is really nice. I think I would go Mantra of Purity here. Especially since Fort Brew, like... Even with Stagger, I feel like you'd still die through it. Clarity of Purpose. Casting Vivify stores vitality. Increased base. Recent Gust of Mist. So, obviously, you're just going to be stacking mastery then. That's pretty much what that comes down to. You're just going to be stacking mastery as, as usual. And we have resonance. Okay, so when Aspect of Harmony heals, it has a chance to spread to a nearby ally. When you directly heal, an affected target has a chance to intensify. So, targets damage are healed by your Aspect of Harmony. Take 10% increase damage or healing from you. So, when you heal with your Aspect of the Harmony, which is up here, what, from the Vitality, you... Do 10% more healing to whoever gets healed by it, and then 10% more damage to whoever it damages. That's kind of cool. So it's just uh, just bonus healing every 30 seconds. That's actually wild. So just from this tree alone, I'm trying to think. This is actually... I was a little underwhelmed with this, but now that I'm reading through everything, this kind of seems really good. So you get... You store your healing, right? You can... you When you are and when you use Thunder Focus T, you release that healing. You can still keep building up your healing, when you press Thunder Focus T, and then anything that's left after the eight seconds, right? Um, eight seconds after you press Thunder Focus T, it gets put to a hot if you choose Purified Spirit. It has, your Thunder Focus T has another charge, or not. Your Thunder has, wait, your Thunder Focus T has an additional charge? Wait, that's crazy. Thunder Focus T has an additional charge. So you have two charges of Thunder Focus T? Which means you could press Thunder Focus T, 
do all your healing. And if you need to do, if you have a ton of healing stored, or if you have another one, or if, if, you, if you just want to press it, you can press it again. Wait, that's crazy. I, I just realized that. I thought it was it was empowering another spell, but it's not. Your Thunder Focus T has a second charge. That's really good. And then we also have the extra healing from the Path of Resurgence. I think this is weird. I think it's uh, the Path of Resurgence, I think, is worded a little weird between Chi Burst, Chi Wave. But that overall seems really solid. Uh, Palance Strategy is okay. And then Mantra of Purity is really good because you get bonus healing for yourself. But that healing can probably count, right? This extra healing you, you applied yourself it counts towards Vitality that's stored. And then you get the extra healing from this. Wow. I was a little underwhelmed when I first saw this, but after reading it through and seeing how it can all kind of connect, I kind of like this tree. This is this is the tree for Cast and Mistweaver, by the way, for sure. If you're going to Fist Weave, you're going to choose the other one with the Windwalker and Mistweaver. This is for sure the Cast and Mistweaver one. I'm impressed with how good this actually looks. I'm excited to test it with Alpha or Beta if I get it. But overall, this just seems like a lot of healing. Um, it looks like they're trying to incorporate some damage for Cast and Mistweaver. And for PvP, these talents really, this talent isn't going to do anything. I'm going to be honest. This talent isn't going to do anything. Uh, this this talent will maybe do a little bit, but it won't do too much. This one's okay. This one's okay. But the healing from the aspects of the harmony, the, res the resonance from the bonus healing you get, and then like these talents right here, I am impressed with them. So I'm excited for that as well. Um, overall, I would say Cast and Mistweaver is as always is kind of like the black sheep right now i feel like i feel like most people fist weave <laughs> i feel like cast and mistweaver is dying and i'm trying to keep it alive i want to keep it alive i want blizzard to keep it alive so i will hopefully get time to test this but i am somewhat excited about these changes and the, this talent tree and i'm hoping that they build upon it and make it better if we give them some feedback and uh after testing and that is pretty much it. Please let me know your thoughts on what you think. It seems like Cast and Mistweaver, it's hold on by a thread, but we're, we're still there. We're still in it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. Hopefully I have alpha or beta and I'll be able to test anything you have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.